next in the series. All right, when you're going through these prisms, when you're going through these prisms in the snarl, when you were in 3D, um, it's really a good idea to try to figure out whether or not you came from being an energy being or if you came as your primary uh, way of being was in physicality. Uh, what are some ways that you can figure this out? Um, if you're more cerebral, if you like thinking, if you're a bookworm, if you're a geek, if you're... Um, you prefer to figure out a problem actually that works against us, because I'm one of those. If you prefer to think things out to solve a problem, uh, you're probably an energy being. If you don't do well with physicality, if you're like me and you have trouble walking, uh, flexibility is difficult. Things like uh, yoga and Tai Chi are difficult. It's difficult to move those energies through this physical body. Uh, you have trouble seeing, you have trouble with health, uh, you have trouble eating. All of those things are signs of a entity that on the other side spent more of their time as an energetic being. Not all, we all do both, but you just spend more of your time, you're more comfortable with it, it's what you prefer. When you come down into the 3D um, snarl that I showed, remember that snarl snarl that snarl over here that's 3d snarl snarl all of these aspects all of these ways of being only it's a lot more dense than that let's make it a lot more dense and actually it looks more like it's more like this looks more solid 3d does like that Okay, in this snarl, as you can see, there's very little space, very little space. So, to try to be an energy being in this, and you don't know you're used to being an energy being, and an energy being is like the wind. The wind does flow, but not much. It'll go around things, but it doesn't slow it down much. It goes right through those, tea, those leaves on those trees and barely moves. Boom, right through it. And a physical being, like I've said before, is more like water. Water really takes a turn. I mean, it is, it's not like the wind where it goes whoosh. It, I mean, it'll stop and it'll hit a bunch of rocks and it'll slow it down for a minute. And then it'll work its way through the rocks and around the rocks, right? That's more a physical being. Physical beings, if you're more a physical being, doesn't matter whether you're long-term human or if you're a starseed. If you're listening to me, you're probably a long-term human that's leaving to go to 5D. So it doesn't really matter which one you are. Really, it doesn't. But if you are better at physicality, if you, all the things that I said, that you're in good health, that you, Grace is one of these, Michelle is one of these, they, that here you, you kind of, the people that are really good at this, almost gravity doesn't work on them. They're like, they, they float, they, their feet barely touch the ground. They are happy in movement. They usually like to dance. They like to sing. They, they are like butterflies and rainbows in physicality. I, mean, I love to watch this. I love to watch Michelle and Grace. Uh, Maria. Maria. <laughs> I don't know whether you guys know her by Grace or M. Grace is who she is on subscriptions. That's Maria. That M is for Maria. <laughs> but you're going to see Grace, so I want you to know who she is. But literally, these people, these two just, it's like when they move, they move like like this. You know, and I'm kind of cumbersome, stomping my way through from one place to another. I'm just amazed to watch them. Um, but usually, the people who do physicality better are not as good at the energy work, the energy thinking, the energy being. It, it's not, it doesn't come as natural to them. So they're learning more of that in their remembering process and we're remembering how physicality works so we can move through it. Okay? So you kind of bubbled, everybody that's in physical, <laughs> that's uh, energy being, They we kind of just survived. 
Uh, some of us didn't survive. Some of us died and came back. But most of us just survived in 3D. It was just so painful, so difficult. Now, as you go into 4D, you've got more room. It's less of a snarl. You've got more room to move through in an energetic way. If you will just let go of what happened to you in 3D. That was the past. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant now. Use what your strengths are now that you've got more room to use your strengths. Go into that energy aspect of you and pull back from the physical being. Don't focus on it. It's not that it doesn't exist, but now you know why. So there is more room for you to give more credence to the energetic part of you, which will help uh, really ease up some of the negativity or some of the difficulties that you had in 3D. As long as you keep focusing on those negatives that you had in 3D, you will recreate them because you are a god. Even if you're out of 3D, you'll still re recreate the problems. You'll make it feel like you're still struggling even though you've got more room to move around. As this opens up like this, if you're a physical being and you are pretty in tune with things, you'll be okay as it opens up. You can stay on these. It'll get easier and easier. And you can kind of stick with your physical self as long as you're open to not being confused why things are different. If you don't stop yourself, in other words, as this opens up, you're going to move easier, faster, freer. You're going to become eventually, as you head towards 5D, that physical aspect of you will become almost magical. If you don't stop that process, if you don't insist that gravity works this way, or I must eat this way. If you don't stop those changes, and if you don't think about those things, and you just allow yourself to make those physical changes naturally, gradually, completely, you will go into 5D, which is more like this, more like that, you'll do it quickly and easily. But if you have, if you stop and think about the way the snarl was over here in 3D, or even how it was in 4D, if you stop and think about that and go, wait a minute, my feet must t touch the ground every time I step. If you do that, you will bounce yourself back to 4D. If you don't do that, if you just flow in your physicality, enjoying, watching, being amazed by the changes that your physical beingness is doing, as you raise vibrations, then you will be fine. You'll just raise right to 5D. In that, you're going to start being much more aware of these spaces, the physical self. It's going to be much more aware of those physical, energetic aspects of yourself. You'll see it in others. So if you judge them for not being in physical like you, that will keep you from remembering that part of you because we're both. And as we go back to oneness, we're going to incorporate both. By 5D, the energetic beings are going to be able to move and operate their physical bodies easily and, and very, very well. By the time we get to 5D, the physical people will remember their energetic selves and be able to work magic with it. And because of this aspect of 5D, where you let go of all of these rules and regulations and you remember the God that you are, incorporating both that energetic magical side of you and that physical mass magical side of you, that's how you get to 5D. But you do that by collapsing those prisms and by the end of the day, whenever you get to 5D, you will understand completely and have accepted that there is no such thing as good or bad, only vibration. And that vibration was divided down into earth so that people could have unique experiences in the skin suit. And they were interpreted by the skin suit and by the brain based on rules and regulations to cause conflict and contrast so that they could have really cool, complex, intricate um, experiences down in that level. And these levels up in 5D won't be near as complex. They won't be near as unique. You'll start remembering that that's who you are anyway. And get more and more and more of that data up and into yourself. Okay? Does that make sense? 
clear as mud, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Keep watching, and please uh, ask me your questions so I can help you with this. I don't expect all of this series that you've done for you get for all of you to get immediately, but unless you tell me where you're struggling, I can't answer your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Just put them in the comments below, okay? All right, guys. Love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.